going to be nuts to try to do what I do. <laughs> Nobody, that's, that's my personality. There are guys that are trying to do that, but it's foolish of them because it's in my personality to, to do that. Legendary comedian Don Rickles, the rapid fire insulting machine who for six decades earned a living making fun of people, has died. He was 90. He died from kidney failure Thursday at his home in Los Angeles, according to his publicist. Sarcastically nicknamed Mr. Warmth, Rickles had mock disdain for stars, major public figures, and all those who paid to see him. A good guy and devoted husband away from the stage, Rickles the performer heartlessly laid into everyone he encountered, and they loved it. After working in relative obscurity for years as a more conventional stand-up comedian, Rickles discovered his biggest laughs came when he turned the tables on his hecklers. His career then skyrocketed after he insulted the hot-tempered Frank Sinatra in 1957. With Sinatra's endorsement, Rickles began his comedic takedown of the famous and not so famous of every creed and color with tremendous results. In 1959, he signed on for his first Las Vegas appearance in the lounge of the Hotel Sahara. Sinatra and Rickles ended up becoming friends. He told The Hollywood Reporter this about the time he spent with the Rat Pack. One night, they, they really had a good time. We were all in the nude, uh, getting ready for a shower, and they pushed me out by the pool. Uh, and I thought it was a riot. And, the world got to see a perfect body. Rickles ended up becoming a late night staple thanks to Johnny Carson and The Tonight Show, and more recently on Late Show with David Letterman. He had this special moment with Sinatra when he surprised the singer on The Tonight Show in 1976. <laughs> Aside from his late night appearances and those on the Dean Martin celebrity roasts, Rickles also worked in movies, including Kelly's Heroes, Pajama Party, Beach Blanket Bingo, and Casino. His numerous TV appearances included episodes of The Twilight Zone, The Dick Van Dyke Show, The Beverly Hillbillies, I Dream of Jeannie, and Hot in Cleveland, among many others. He also voiced Mr. Potato Head in the Toy Story movies. He was still regularly working at age 90 and had a recent gig touring with Regis Philbin. Rickles is survived by his wife, daughter, son-in-law, and two grandchildren. For more on Rickles' life and legacy, go to THR.com. I'm Tiffany Taylor for The Hollywood Reporter News.